Hi guys, this is a review of the White Galaxy Nexus um, running in Straight Talk. It's it's the Straight Talk service when you buy it online. It you buy it through the website called StraightTalkSim.com. So it's not like a regular Straight Talk service. The straight the, the regular Straight Talk. What you do is you buy a phone and it's locked to Straight Talk. This is like um, the, the simple mobile, you know, those T-Mobile monthly 4G um, plans, prepaid or anything like that. Those are similar to the to the Straight Talk SIM. They call it BYOD, which stands for Bring Your Own Device. So what's included when you pay 15 bucks for the SIM card? And if you want, if it's uh, you haven't bought any of the prepaid um, add-on yet, you can add. Forty-five dollars per month. Uh, you can add forty-five dollars when you buy the SIM card, so it would it would total to sixty dollars when you purchase it for the first time. That's included. That's included with a one month of service. So what you get inside is um, well, actually, if you if you purchase the device, uh, the the SIM card rather, you're given an option to choose whether you want a SIM card that's compatible with AT and T or T Mobile. So if you got like a phone that's compatible only with T-Mobile, then you, you you would have to choose the option to get the T-Mobile SIM card. Um, vice versa, if you got a phone that only works with AT&T, you get the AT&T version and it runs an AT&T network, so as the T-Mobile network. But with my Galaxy Nexus, um, the 4G service on this works in both AT&T and T-Mobile, but I came from the T-Mobile monthly 4G plan, the $30 a month plan, and I love T-Mobile. The 4G service was great. I don't know why people are hating on T-Mobile. Um, I, I think T-Mobile is a great, great company. I think they got great service. They got great coverage, and the 4G was excellent. So I ported my old number to this Straight Talk, and I bought the T-Mobile SIM card, and I pop, popped it in already. So what you get in the package is this um um just welcome welcome letter you get um I won't show you my serial number but you get like a serial number so when you um activate your sim card you have to enter the serial serial number that is given to you in here and together with this they give you um they give you the uh the instructions how to update your settings and so you could get MMS and data, all that working, and how to pop in the SIM card. You know, that's pretty straightforward. I don't think we need to go through that. This is where the SIM card was. So you pop that out, and that's also pretty st straightforward. Service guide, I don't think I needed to read any of this, so I left that sealed. And together with that, I got the $45 per month. Um, prepaid so you scratch it and you get the code and you enter it online and that's, that's what you get for the package it totaled sixty dollars that's not included shipping shipping is around five dollars and tax is around seven percent based because I live in Jersey anyway so what came so I popped it in and um, I don't really need to uh, go through the settings, the APN settings. Uh, well, I did go through the APN settings. What I did, would you go through the set? You go first. You go through the settings. Wait, oh, lower this down a little bit. So you want to go through the settings. You want to click more. Um, mobile networks, and click access point names or APN, and once you pop the SIM card in, you're given three options. You got Simple, um, Straight Talk T-Mobile, and T-Mobile United States. Um, well, you just need to tweak something. So you got obviously I click T Straight Talk T-Mobile, and down if you go to um, MMSC, um, by default it would say uh, like that. See, it would say MMSC that track phone. Dot com you want to edit that and just put MMS MMS that tra track phone 
and hit save. And that enables um, MMS. And for calling, you get unlimited calling, unlimited data, unlimited texting. Their service is great. You know, as you can see, T-Mobile. Um, well, I'm currently running on Wi-Fi. Let's shut down Wi-Fi. See, I got a toggle here because I'm running um, CyanogenMod Mod 10. Um, you see that indica indicated blue, which means I have data connection. H means 4G in tech lingo. <laughs> and um, calling is great. Um, you get voicemail and all that. Um, it's typical T-Mobile. And I ported my number from a T-Mobile account. So porting from a T-Mobile to, you know, straight talk, which is basically T-Mobile's like an instant process. If I'm moving from T-Mobile to probably a AT&T SIM card straight dog, it'd probably take a while. So that was that was a pretty seamless process. Uh, as you can see, let's open um, Engadget for instance, and just see how um, the T-Mobile handles this um, web pages. You know, it's it's fairly quick. And the Galaxy Nexus obviously runs um, 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor. Um, I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna sound a little bit. So as you can see, so the the whole page has been loaded. So 4G network for T-Mobile is not as fast as Verizon 4G LTE, but it's fairly quick in my standards. And you know I've been to T-Mobile monthly for the only reason why I moved out of T-Mobile monthly 4G. You know it's 30 bucks. It's a great deal. You get five gigabytes of 4G. I never got to finish the five gigabytes because I'm usually in Wi-Fi for the most for the most part. Um, which the only reason why I moved out is that it only had 100 minutes, and I would end up finishing 100 minutes before my due my 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 due date for. Um, for the renewal for my account and it's really frustrating when you know you have like anxiety when someone you know people call you and you don't know if you should take the call because you're gonna finish up the minutes and so I made a decision to um, pay $15 more so I could get unlimited talk text and limited um, 4G as well um, t straight talk is claiming that it's unlimited 4G but in my in um, I guess through experience or through people's comments, I, I bet they're gonna throttle you if you use a lot of um, a lot of their data, and it only makes sense because they don't really like customers, you know, using much of their data and abusing it. So they would throttle you if you use too much of your uh, mobile data. But I'm not so much of a model, mobile data usage. So. Um, so uh, if we could go to speed test, I could show you speed test. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know how quick this it should be. Sometimes it's really quick. Sometimes it's not the quickest, but we'll see. See, right now it's actually uh, it's okay. That's actually not the best. See, one point seven. Sometimes it will reach. Two average is two point five. Sometimes when I'm um, different areas, I get four megabits per second. Sometimes even seven megabits per second. And I've done some research, and apparently, um, running a Galaxy Nexus on T-Mobile SIM card actually is better, is faster when you go when you um, take the AT&T SIM card. Um. Other than that, I don't, I don't know. Um, it's, it's just a great service, forty-five bucks a month, and it's a great deal. Um, excellent call quality, um, great service. Um, well, um, let's test out YouTube and see how mobile network handles it. Let's see, um, let's see that video.
See, um, the, the video pretty What's much up, buffered guys? instantly. From Unbox Therapy, and today we're taking a look at a gaming keyboard. So, um, it's not that quick. I mean, it's not that slow. It's actually pretty quick. Um, so, see if I'm trolling. It pretty much loads instantly. Not much of a buffer, um, going on. So, I, I, I think, um... Straight Talk runs excellent on my Galaxy Nexus, my white GSM Galaxy Nexus running Jelly Bean. And I think every, I, I recommend it to everybody. Um, you know, it's it's better too because now the Galaxy Nexus is being sold on Google Play for 349 bucks, uh, And you only pay $45 a month, which is a lot cheaper than those postpaid plans that T-Mobile, Sprint... AT&T offers and the added bonus is that it's you know without a contract so you could you know if you plan to get out of straight talk I don't see any reason why you should you, you don't have to pay a fee for that um what else um I think this is a lot uh, I know this is a lot better than um those that virgin mobile uh that Virgin Mobile plans. I had Virgin Mobile, and it's horrible, horrible, horrible. I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, anybody, stay away from Virgin Mobile. Virgin Mobile, I get delayed messages. Um, people sometimes don't get my text messages. Um, incoming calls would sometimes get delayed. Sometimes, most times, actually, it would get delayed. Sometimes it would, it would go straight to voicemail. 3G speeds were just horrendous. It's like. 200 kilobytes per second that's just um that's just beyond horrible and i paid 35 bucks a month for that which is a lot which is five dollars more than t-mobile's 30 dollars a month plan although virgin mobile had 300 minutes then compared to um, t-mobile's 100 minutes but it's t-mobile serves a lot better than virgin mobile virgin mobile is just horrible and the fact that virgin mobile has this um iphone 4s being sold for like 549 bucks and you pay a horrible um, amount for service which is I think is a horrendous deal um, I think I, I mean I don't think the iPhone